Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Coach Steph Davis. Welcome to Reignite, the follow-up series to our iconic Ignite Summer Body Transformation Dumbbell Workout Program. Ignite series will help you get your summer body transformation more effectively than any other workout series online by training you according to science around your body's energy expenditure system. We start every workout with strength training to efficiently rid your body of glucose so that later through the workout we can dig into your fat storage and use it as a source of energy to complete your mild cardio component. Each superset in Reignite is made up of two related exercises covered in 30 second intervals. Then we follow it with 30 seconds of rest. So let's have you work out the correct way as though you've hired your very own aesthetics personal trainer. That's enough talking from us. Let's get started with today's Reignite Summer Body Transformation Dumbbell Workout. We'll see you on the other side. We're starting this superset with some cross body crunches or some X crunches if you like. So it looks like a regular abs crunch except you're reaching for the opposite knee with the palm of your hand. So it's going to work not just your abs but also your intercostals. So these are the muscles where your ribs are and they're going to create those beautiful lines. Make sure your lower back remains grounded the whole time. For your second exercise, we're going to work some side knee drops. Put your hands up against the floor nice and wide in that crucifix position. Lift your head and shoulder blades up and try to keep your torso as stationary as you can keep it while you're rotating your hips from left to right. Oh, <laughs> 
Everybody said they saw you The person you were kissing wasn't me And I would never ask you I just kept it to myself I don't wanna know If you're playing me, keep it on the low Cause my heart can't take it Starting this superset with some jackknifes. So you're essentially starting in a horizontal line as far as your arms and legs are concerned and then you're moving them into a vertical position. Now don't go all the way down to the floor because if you do you're going to arch your back up and you're going to feel it in your lumbar spine. So the idea is to try and protect your back and try and engage your core as much as you can. Try to keep both your arms and your legs extended. Your second exercise is traditional abs crunches. Now you can see we're using some hand support. There's nothing wrong with using hand support guys as long as you've got your elbows out and you're looking up at the ceiling. You're crunching upwards so that you're not putting your neck out of alignment. Somebody said they saw you the person you were kissing wasn't me And I would never ask you I just kept it to myself I don't wanna know If you're playing me, keep it on the low Cause my heart can't take it anymore
This exercise is an ankle tap. So lying in that supine position, you're creating a letter C with your upper body. It's a rolling tilt to one side. Touching your ankle is a good idea because it gives you a nice indicator of where you should go. And then making sure that you're centering yourself before going on to the other side. Your second exercise in this superset is some windscreen wipers. Now make sure you spread your arms nice and long and try to keep your shoulders connected to the floor as much as you can. So we're trying to have no movement in our upper body, but we're swinging those straight legs and rotating your hips from your left to your right. Starting this exercise in a high plank, let's offer some knee strikes one side at a time. Make sure your elbows are soft straight, so don't lock them up. 
And make sure you keep your tailbone tucked in so that you're not putting any unnecessary pressure on your lower back. Knee strike straight down the middle. For your second exercise, we're working some commando planks. So start in a high plank and then go one side at a time, drop down into a lower plank on your elbows and then work your way back up. Try to keep your shoulders as square as you can keep it and keep your tailbone tucked in the whole time.
These are frog leg ab crunches. You can see we've got our feet together and we've got our knees as far apart as they'll go. So this will disengage your hips from this exercise. So it's gonna really help isolate your abs. We're using some dumbbells across our chest, but if you wanna do it with body weight only, then that's okay as well. It's a rolling action, making sure that you're lifting your head and shoulder blades, tucking your chin in on the way up, and then returning until you're in your rested position. The second exercise is an isometric one. It's a road kill. So we've got our arms and feet extended vertical. You're lifting up your shoulder blades and your head and you're just sustaining that contracted abs pose for the 30 seconds duration. We'll be right back. 
starting this one with some bicycle crunches. Be careful with this one, guys. We don't want to be pulling at our neck at all. You're essentially connecting opposite knee and opposite elbow together while extending the opposite side. So it's a great rotation. If your focus is rotating your shoulders, then you're going to get this exercise right. It's very important to keep your lower back grounded. So if you start to arch your lower back up, then kick a little higher. The second exercise is a difficult one. It's an advanced cross body crunch. We've got our legs extended vertical. And then as you're crunching, you're reaching for the opposite shin. So there's a rotation of the shoulders involved in this one.
This exercise is a side plank. Now you can see that we've got the top foot in front and the back foot behind and that our feet are nice and horizontal. Try to stay nice and long on this exercise. In order to manage your neck, we've got our arm up nice and straight and we're looking at our hand. As far as your support from the arms is concerned, you can see that our weight is spread across our forearm. So this is a great way to balance and it's also a great way of maintaining your torso so that you're holding a straight line from your ankle all the way to your shoulders. Keep squeezing your obliques on the side underneath you until the end of your set.
This exercise is an abs tuck crunch. We're using a dumbbell to create a little bit of extra tension in the upper body, but you can do it just with your hands. Tuck your knees in until they're touching your arms or until they're getting close to your chest and then extend your legs out until your knees are nice and straight. Keep your toes pointy when you do it. For your second exercise, we'll work some V leg drops. So starting at the top with your legs together, your knees straight and your toes pointy. We'll go for a lateral drop open your hip flexors up and then use your hips abductors to bring your legs back together. This is both a great core exercise and an inner leg flexibility exercise as well. Well done everybody for making it to the fat burning component of this workout. 
Now that you've effectively lowered your blood glucose, we can start burning body fat by keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Let's take a moment to rehydrate with a sip of water while Coach Ali explains training in your fat burning zone. Now, even if you're already familiar with the fat burning zone formula, don't skip this section. Take this opportunity to simply rest your body and prepare for our conditioning component. Your maximum natural heart rate is regarded as 220 minus your age. So let's quickly calculate this number. For example, I'm 46 years old, so my theoretical maximum heart rate is 174 beats per minute. Now, multiply your maximum heart rate by 0.67. We want to be two thirds of the way up there so that we're in our optimal fat burning zone. My optimal fat burning heart rate is 117 beats per minute, which is achieved through low intensity cardio after your weights training. Now calculate your optimal fat burning heart rate. Let's get active and let's burn some body fat. This exercise is a crisscross and it's a simple complex between jumping back and forth as well as side to side. It might be a little bit hard to coordinate so just do your best with it. For the second exercise we're doing some cardio uppercuts. You can see there's a shift of the hip and the power comes from the glutes and we're just throwing some light uppercuts having some fun with it. Oh. 
For the first exercise in the superset, we're just jogging on the spot nice and light. Make sure you're light on your toes and protect your knees. For the second exercise, we're marching on the spot. So make sure you raise your knees nice and high. Again, placing your foot down gently to protect those joints and keep the same pace up throughout the whole set. For the first exercise, we're working some pop squats. Now, if you've got trouble with your knees or ankles, then you can do air squats as an alternative. For your second exercise, we're working some fast feet. You can see we're keeping a moderate pace, so we're still trying to keep our heart rate in our fat burning zone. So let's not get too overzealous with them.
Put my mind to this shit. Cancel out my ex, I put a line through that bitch. I like all my answers with two lines through them shits. Everybody trying to fuck you, but I'm fine with that shit. I never mind, girl, that's just you. I know you work hard for your shit. You know they gon' hate, just don't play no part in that shit. They should call me James, cause I'm going hard in this bitch. We're just so much smarter than them. Maybe I just needed you around me. Drank a lot tonight, I know. She can drive your car, and you can roll. Take you where you wanna go. First off, I'ma start by saying it. Darden. Some scatter lunges for your first exercise. It's essentially a reverse lunge on an angle and you're touching the floor. So this is gonna work on your hips flexibility a little bit and it's a good one just to increase your heart rate. Your second exercise is squats with a knee strike in the middle. So get nice and low and on your way up, throw some knee strikes alternately as high as they'll go.
Well done, everybody. You got through today's dumbbell workout for a summer body. Now, what did you like or even dislike about today's workout? Comment and let us know because we can then better understand what you think about our workout and our training methods. Before we go, can we please ask that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss future workouts in this series. If you think your friends or family could benefit from today's workout, then please share a link with them and let's help your loved ones get fit and healthy too. Once again, thank you for tuning in and we look forward to seeing more of you right here shortly.